welcome to financial channel so today we are going to talk about a case study so this is related to the IBESS and that is unit 4 for them but let's start So first thing that we are going to talk about today is introduction to water resources. Water resources encompass various sources of water that have the potential of utility in a range of activities including agriculture, industry, household use and environmental conservation. It's essential to recognize that fresh water is very important for human livelihood. One compelling real life example that illustrates the importance of fresh water is in the case of the colorado water so i mean the colorado water i mean the colorado river in the united states this river serves as a major uh, water source for agriculture urban areas and various industries however due to increasing demands prolonged droughts and climate change the river has experienced the water levels to decrease a lot which is an alarm for them this situation has prompted stakeholders to implement water conservation measures such as efficient irrigation techniques then water recycling programs and development of agreements you know i would like to add here that we are observing eco fusion i mean eco fusion year this year so last year we had uh, about water and this year we have eco fusion fennel shirt channel is observing this all right just don't see anything here what i was writing i was trying to write but i <laughs> could not all right let's move ahead We'll talk about conflict arising from shared water resources. First, let us talk about the shared political disputes that are happening, right? Shared water re resources frequently become a focal point for conflicts between countries or regions, primarily due to competing demands and interests. Political disputes arise from differences in priorities, concerns over water scarcity, and disagreements regarding the fair distribution of the essential resource. One real-life example in the political disputes that we can see is that the long-standing conflict over the Nile River's water. The Nile shared by multiple African countries including Egypt, Sudan, and Ethiopia has been a source of tension for decades. The construction of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam GERD, by Ethiopia has led to disagreements with downstream nations, particularly Egypt, as it raises concerns about the fair allocation of water resources and potential impacts on downstream water availability. This case highlights the geopolitical complexities surrounding shared water resources and the importance of diplomacy and cooperation in finding equitable solutions. And this is it for political disputes. Let's talk about scarcity and inequality. Scarcity of water resources can intensify social and economic disparities, creating tensions and conflicts within and between communities. Access to clean and sufficient water has become a fundamental issue, affecting the well-being of individuals and exacerbating existing inequalities. Recognizing and addressing water scarcity is crucial for promoting social equity and ensuring sustainable development. One real life example that we can, you know, why am I talking about real life example a lot? Because in the IB, it's very important that we connect every aspect of our curriculum to the real life or real life scenario. Let's consider the situation in parts of India where water scarcity has led to significant social and economic challenges. Regions such as Chennai have experienced severe water shortages, resulting in e unequal distribution and access to water resources. This has, this 
disproportionately affected marginalized communities, highlighting the link between water scarcity and social inequality. Efforts to address these issues involve implementing water conservation measures, improving infrastructure and promoting community engagement to ensure more equitable access to this vital resource. This real life example emphasizes the interconnectedness of water scarcity, social disparities and the importance of holistic solutions. And I'm very happy to say that the government is taking charge of it and they're bringing the implementations. Now, let's talk about the water conflict in the Nile Basin. Mm -hmm. The Nile Basin water conflict is a complex and a long-lasting issue, as I said this, showcasing the intricate dynamics of shared water resources and their impact on geopolitical relationships. Understanding this complicated conflict involves examining its historical roots. So, let's talk about the historical context. The conflict over the Nile river has been de deep historical roots as riparian nations have sought to maximize their access to these vital resources. Colonial era agreements such as the Nile Waters Agreement of 1959 favored upstream nations like Egypt and Sudan creating tensions with downstream nations particularly those in the Horn of Africa. Let us talk about the modern tensions. In contemporary times, the construction of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam GERD, and heightened tensions within the Nile Basin, Ethiopia's effort to harness the Nile's water for energy and development have raised concerns among downstream nations, primarily Egypt. The modern dispute highlights the challenges of balancing national development aspirations with equitable sharing of a transboundary water resources. We must talk about the efforts made. International efforts have been initiated to address the Nile Basin water conflict. The Cooperative Framework Agreement CFA, seeks a more inclusive and cooperative approach to managing the Nile's water, acknowledging the rights of all riparian nations, diplomatic negotiations facilitated by the Nile Basin Initiative, aimed to foster collaboration and resolve disputes throughout the dialogue. An exemplary case within the Nile Basin conflict is negotiations surrounding the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. The dispute is so complex that the UN has intervened. Let us talk about sustainably managing water resources. First, the conservation. Water conservation is a cornerstone of sustainable water management. This entails adopting practices and technologies that reduce water wastage. Then, community engagement. Engaging local communities is crucial. For sustainable water management, communities' participation fosters a sense of ownership and responsibility. If we talk about water policy, robust water policies are essential for effective management and equitable distribution of water resources. Governments and regulatory bodies play a crucial role in developing and implementing policies that address water quality, allocation and usage. An Inspiring real-life example of sustainable water development management is, the, is in the city of Singapore. Faced with limited water resources and a growing population, Singapore has implemented a comprehensive water management strategy known as four national taps. This strategy includes local catchment water imported, high standard reclaimed water and desalinated water. Through public awareness programs and campaigns, efficient infrastructure and stringent water policy, Singapore has achieved 
water sustainability, ensuring a resilient and secure water supply for its residents. Now, let us start, talk about the price of water for the world's poor. Examining the price of water for the world's poor unveils the economic, social and global dimensions of a critical challenge. Access to affordable and safe water is a fundamental human right. Yet, disparities in water pricing can result in significant economic impacts, social burdens and underscore the global responsibility to address water inequities. Let us talk about the economic impact. The economic impact of high water prices on impoverished communities is profound. For many in low income obtaining clean water, exorbitant water costs can perpetuate cycles of poverty, limiting opportunities for education and economic advancement. The economic burden further intensifies than water related illness lead to increased healthcare expenses and productivity losses. It's important to talk about the social burdens as well. The social burden of unaffordable water is felt disproportionately by marginalized communities. Limited access to clean water hinders the development of these communities. It's important to talk about the global responsibility as well. Addressing the price of water for the world's poor is a shared global responsibility. International organizations, governments and non-profit entities play a pivotal role in promoting water equality. Collaborative efforts are needed to develop and implement policies that ensure access to affordable water, especially in regions facing economic challenges. This global responsibility extends beyond financial aid to encompass sustainable development initiatives, capacity building, and the promotion of equitable water distribution. A real-life example. A poignant real-life example is found in parts of sub-Saharan Africa where water scarcity and high water prices disproportionately affect impoverished communities. Though UN is working. Water.org and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals work towards elevating the crisis by implementing projects to provide water for the world's poor. Here is the image that you can see the 17 SDGs. From that, the sixth one is clean water and sanitation. Let's come to the conclusion. Recognizing challenges. We need to understand the complex relationship between water resources and conflict is crucial for implementing effective governance and sustainably managing the water resources. Collaborative solutions, non-profit organizations, governments and other organizations can come together for a collaborative solution. Hope for the better future. Conservation is the key that we need to adopt here. With that, 